So, we have the Illuminati. Now, the Illuminati uh, was established in 1776 by a fellow named Adam Weishaupt. In 1773, he was commissioned by one of the Rothschilds, uh, House of Rothschild, to put together an organization called the Illuminati. And the gold that he was commissioned to set up, there were 25 of them. Number one was men are inclined to evil rather than good. Number two goal and issue was to preach liberalism. Number three, use the ideas of freedom to bring about class wars. That's what we're doing today. Number four, any and all means should be used to reach our goal. Uh, as they are justified. Number five, their rights lie in force. That's we're talking about the Illuminati rights lie in force. Number six, the power of our resources must remain invisible until the very moment when it has gained the strength that no cunning or force can undermine it. And if you will notice, it's been a very uh, no, very few people know about the Illuminati, so they have maintained their invisibility until most recently. Number seven, advocated mob psychology to obtain control of the masses. Number eight, use alcohol, drugs, moral corruption, and all forms of vice to systematically corrupt the youth of the nation. Uh, number nine, seize property by any means. We're seeing that on a daily basis. Number ten, deal with the uh, use of slogans such as equity, liberty, fraternity into the mouths of the masses in psychological warfare. Boy, if that isn't Bill Clinton, I never saw it and never heard it before. That man is unbelievable. As uh, former Congressman Denemeyer describes him, he's a draft-dodging, womanizing, pathological liar. And he certainly fits into item number ten. Number 11 dealt with war, number 11 theory and goal. In 1773, Adam Weishaupt set down policies that were put publicly announced in 1939, folks. 1773, publicly announced 1939 by Britain and the United States. And the war should be directed so that the nations on both sides are placed further in debt and peace conferences conducted so neither combatants obtain Territorial rights, Yalta. Perfect example, Stalin, Roosevelt, Winston Churchill, after World War II. Number 12, told those present that they must use their wealth to have candidates chosen to public office who would be obedient to their demands and would be used as pawns in the game by the men behind the scenes. The advisors will have been bred, reared, and trained from childhood to rule the affairs of the world. We have that today without any question. The men behind the scenes. Number 13, control the press. I documented that the mainstream media is being controlled by the big power people, by the phony politicians, by the bureaucrats, without any question about it. Number 14, their agent tours will come forward after fomenting traumatic situations and appear to be the saviors of the masses when they are actually interested in just the opposite, the killing of the masses. Number 15, create industrial depression and financial panic, unemployment, hunger, shortage of food. Use this to control the masses or the mobs and use the mob to wipe out all those who dare to stand in the way. Well, I'll tell you right now, every expert I've talked to is talking about food shortage. And it's coming, I'm convinced. Number 16, ILFA infiltrate into the secret Freemasonry to be used for their purposes. That's been documented many times. Number 17, 
expound the value of systematic deception, use high-sounding slogans and phrases, and advocate lavish promises to the masses, even though they cannot be kept. Number 18, detailed plans for resolution discuss the art of street fighting, which is necessary to bring the population to a speeding subjection. Number 19, use their agent tours as advisors behind the scenes after wars through secret diplomacy to gain control. Number 20, establish huge monopolies toward uh, world government control. We're, we're seeing that today, the huge monopolies. Number 21, use high taxes and unfair competition to bring about economic ruin by controlling raw materials, organize agitation among the workers and subsidizing competitors, GATT, NAFTA. Number 22, build up armaments with police and soldiers sufficient to protect our interests. Number 23, members and leaders of the One World Government would be appointed by the director. Number 24, infiltrate into all classes and levels of society of government for the purpose of fooling, bemusing, and corrupting the youth members of society by teaching them theories and principles that we know to be false. This is the outcome-based education program being shoved down our throats by the United Nations. Number 25, national and international laws should be used to destroy civilization. There's talk about the world population being decreased to 500 million, the United States population being decreased to 20 million.